Okay, let's address the other part of the problem, part K. You know, so here I am not using the decision tree software you know, that came along you know, with the book. Rather, I would just do it by hand. You know, so the idea here is you can go, you can use your decision tree uh, software to solve this problem. That's fine. But if you do the through the hand calculation, we understand exactly what goes on behind. Okay, so that is the approach here. Okay, now. The first is what we had to do is we had to create the decision tree. Then the other analysis basically follows. How do we create the decision tree? Our initial decision is to either conduct the research or not to conduct the research. If we decide not to conduct the research, again the decision is ours. Always the decision is the square node and the chance of nature is the circular node. Okay, if we decide not to do the research, now we have two ch alternatives. One is choose A1. Uh, the other one is either to choose A2. Okay, if we go with choose A1, if we go with A1, then state of nature S1 occurs with 40% probability, S2 occurs with 60% probability. So the expected monetary value at this node is nothing but 0.4 times 400, then 0.6 times negative 100, which is 100 is what you see here. Okay, if so that is the expected monetary value. That's what we did on the first sheet, you know, when we got this one expected long run average. That's $100 there. Now, if you were to go with choose A2, then instead of taking S1 would occur again with the same prior probability of 0.4, and S2, that's let's say bad economy with 60% chance. Okay, now, if that is the case, we don't make any profit, no loss here. If that happens, we make $100 in profit. Okay, now the expected monetary value here is nothing but 0.4 times 0 plus 0 0.6 times 100, which is 60. Now, here we are at a decision point. Now, it is our decision. decision. By choosing A1, long run average is, is 100. Choosing A2, the long run average is 60. So better for us to is, because we are talking about profit and losses, better to go with a higher number. We don't want to choose that. Okay, always the decision that we don't want to choose, what we do is we go back and we put a line in its tummy, meaning that if this is if this is the action that we choose to pursue, then we will not go with A2, we'll go with A1 all the time. Okay. That's how we analyze. Always when we construct the tree, we construct from left to right. Here if you don't conduct the research, okay then we can choose A1 or A2, states of nature, with their probabilities and expected payoff is what we list. If we were to do the research, the survey can come back and predict S1, or the survey can come back and predict S2. Sometimes it does predict S1, sometimes it does predict S2. Okay. Now, whenever it predicts S1, the decision is again our hands. We can choose to go with A1, then we basically face the state of nature, S1 and S2 with these revised probabilities that we just computed, okay? And the expected payoff, now from 400, we have taken the $100 out, okay, because that was the amount that we had to give to the research firm. So it is 400 minus 100, that is 300. Likewise, in this branch, where we do the research, so from those monies that were given to us before, we have taken the $300 out. Okay, that is 400 minus 100 is 300. Here it is negative 100. Another negative 100 is negative 200. So here it is zero. Then it is negative 100. It is 100 here. Then you give 100. So 100 minus 100 is zero here. Okay. Now, or we can go if it predicts S2. Again, the choice is ours whether to go with A1 or A2. Then you basically meet the state of nature, and S1 or S2 can happen with these revised probabilities. They used to be 0.4 and 0 0.6 without this survey. Now with the survey, when we get this additional information, we revise those probabilities and they are no, are no longer 0 0.4, 0 0.6, but they are based on what the survey predicts. This is information that we have to use, but again, as I said before, what we actually measure is the reverse of it. Okay? So what we want to use in our analysis is given that the research basically predicted S1, what is the probability of S1 actually happening? That's what we want. Okay? So now the analysis is exactly the same way, the way that we did here. Expected monetary value at this node, that is 133.5, is nothing but 
that probability times that number plus this probability times this number which is 133.5 that is 133.5 here now similar EMV at these nodes results in minus 66.7 naturally if we are given an S1 prediction we will not choose A2 we will always go with A1 okay so at S1 at this point our expected payoff is 133.5 suppose if the prediction comes out to be S2 that is a bad economy then EMV by choosing A1 is minus 75 then by choosing A2 is negative 25 so if at all if you had to lose it's better to lose a smaller sum than the bigger sum so naturally you know, our decision would be to go with A2 not with A1 just put a tummy I mean a line in its tummy. That's not our decision, so it is going to be negative 25. Okay, then what is the expected payoff over here? The expected payoff here is about 36% of the times, 0.36 times, we make 133.5 plus about 0.64 times, that is 64% of the times, we lose $25. That's at 25. So the long run average is 32.06. By not conducting research, it is 100. So the best is not to conduct the research go with always A1 okay so we are not going to choose that option our recommendation is not to do the research okay put a line in his tummy okay so the decision then is decision do not conduct research invest or choose alternative A1 all the time that's ours if it was if, if it was different then we would have come back we would have said okay conduct the research okay you know if this were to be a higher number than this let's say then our recommendation would have been conduct the research then wait for the outcome if the outcome is S1 then choose A1 if the outcome of the research study is S2 then in that case choose A2 that would have been our recommendation how we would have stated okay so that's what I expect you to do I mean uh, if you do if you are required just to analyze the decision tree and make a recommendation okay I want to see that language too